Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another episode of The Fat Show. So on today's episode, I'm gonna be doing the 30,000 miles on my Volkswagen Golf Alltrack. I actually can't believe that it's been 30,000 miles because it kind of seems like I just got this car. Still in love with it every single day. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the 30,000 mile uh, service, which hopefully will be pretty easy. It's just a Haldex uh, fluid change. I actually got the like seals and the bolts so I can take the pump off and check the screen for debris. Uh, I'm guessing because I live in Texas and probably never actually use my uh, all-wheel drive other than the few times I've been to Colorado and Utah in the wintertime. But I imagine mine's probably going to be pretty clean, so assuming it is, then I'll probably uh, skip um, like every other 30,000 miles doing taking the pump off and I'll just drain the fluid every 30,000 miles. But this time, I'll take it off at least and uh, look at it. Uh, also, just a regular oil and filter change, which I'm not gonna bore you with seeing since I made a whole video on doing that for this car. And then also, it's not explicitly called out in the 30,000 mile service, it's actually a 40,000 mile service interval. I'm gonna do a little bit early and replace the spark plugs on the car. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I think I've finally caved in and I'm gonna go ahead and get a stage one tune soon. Uh, I'm going to do APR stage one and really the only reason I'm going with APR is because they're the only company that makes an 87 octane tune and I don't know. I know a lot of people are probably going to say why not just run premium but for me what I use this car for which is mostly commuting to work and then taking on super long road trips I'd rather just save myself the 50 or 60 cents a gallon on regular and the APR stage one 87 tune is actually a pretty big step up. Uh, from stock, it's like plus 78 horsepower or something like that, and even more foot pounds of torque. But obviously, when I do that, I'll make a whole video on it. So, with that, uh, let's get to it. I don't have a ton of time uh, today, so I think I'll probably just do the oil service since I'm familiar with that. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll go ahead and do the Haldex service and spark plugs. I'm also going to rotate the tires too. Um, not sure what the interval for. Volkswagen is for that, but I can see them that they're a little out front and back, so I'll, I'll rotate them diagonally. Uh, so with that, uh, let's get to it. Next service is to remove the level fill plug. It is a five millimeter Allen. Next step is to go ahead and remove the drain plug. It is a eight millimeter Allen.
The torque spec for the drain plug is 32 newton meters. There are just two T30 Torx bolts that hold the pump housing together. In order to get enough slack to remove the pump, I had to remove the Haldex control module and set it on top of the differential. As you can see, my screen is very clean. Uh, if you remove the pump, it's probably a good idea to replace the two O-rings on either side of the impeller. Uh, there's pretty tight clearances for the pump unit, so be careful when working on it and putting it back together. It'll take an uncomfortable amount of force to set the pump, but eventually it will mount up flush with the housing. Factory fill for the Haldex unit is 700 millimeters. Pump the fluid in until it spills out of the level plug, then button it up. Cycle the key to the car to prime the pump and then check the level again. This is very important as I actually added quite a bit after the pump was primed. spec for the fill plug is 17 newton meters. I just snug it up with my tiny quarter inch drive ratchet. The Volkswagen Mark 7 platform is probably the easiest vehicle I've changed the spark plugs for recently. Uh, simply just remove the four ground wire bolts then you can remove the electrical connectors to the coil packs. Then you can remove the coil pack hold down bolts, remove the coil packs themselves, replace the spark plugs, and the torque spec for the spark plugs from Volkswagen is 25 Newton meters.
30,000 mile service for the all track overall it was definitely pretty easy uh, pretty much the only thing that was really challenging or difficult was just trying to get the connector off for the Haldex pump because the only way you can get the slide the pump out is to undo that connector and get slack or do what I did and undo the hold down bolts and kind of push the module up over the top of the drive shaft. Uh, so I spent pretty much the majority of the time it took to do this entire service just trying to figure out how to get that connector off. I was just so afraid to break it and it was not coming off easily. Uh, so if anyone has any recommendations for how to get that connector off, please let me know, leave a comment below uh, and I can try and put it out uh, so it becomes more uh, whatever mainstream knowledge. Uh, but what I did worked. Um, I don't think it was really necessary to take my pump off seeing that the screen was completely clean, but there is quite a lot of fluid still in that housing. So it's probably good just to pull it out, just to drain the fluid out of it to get all the fluid out. Um, and then, yeah, just make sure you prime the pump afterwards because it was, there was quite a bit more that went in after, uh, after I primed it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Obviously spark plug is pretty easy. Oil chain is pretty easy. Um, how this, if you don't do the pump, is super easy also. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys liked this episode. Um, if you really liked it, uh, like it and subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.